See, the thing with Francis is me and Francis are like brothers. Right. And so I'm always going to have my brother's back. Right. And so I'm there mainly for that moral support. Right. Because I understand what it is when I'm going to a fight. Right. I like to know that everybody behind me, next to me, is ready to ride. Right. So if something broke out in here right now and I'm going to fight, I know that everybody on my corner is throwing that. We fight. Yeah. And so it's something in that solace as a fighter when you walk and when you're going to compete. Now, as far as game plan, Francis has excellent coaching. Mm -hmm. he, Eric Nixick and uh, Dewey, uh, Dewey Cooper, those guys down there, they are um, great coaches for Francis. But Francis is, is a competitor. You know, some of the greats, there's just a lot of things that you just can't teach them. They right. know how to, they know how to win. And that's the thing about Francis. He, you know, he was dealing with a lot, you know, he had a knee injury. Right. And, and he still resorted to the wrestling to get the job done. Right. And so it, it wasn't much for me. Of course, I'm being there, I'm going to tell him, my, okay, I think this is where we should go. Right. But at the end of the day, Francis is the one that's going to step in there. And he's going to make the decisions that's going to win or lose him the fight. Right. And, and that's exactly what he did, you know, alongside with his, with his coaches. I mean, they do a good job with him, and he's proven that he's the baddest man on the planet. Yeah. I mean, when Francis walk in the room, you know Francis got him in the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what transpired? Dana wasn't in the ring to put the belt on him. He wasn't there in the press conference. And I don't know if I've ever seen him not put the belt on the champion, not go to the, 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 the after fight press conference. Obviously, there's a lot going on. His contract was up after that fight, but since he won, he gets has to resign for another two, three fights, or wherever, however that goes. How do how do you guys bridge the gap? Because the pay scale, we're gonna talk about Jake Paul saying, you know, come on over here, fight your boy, make a big payday, you make triple, quadruple what you're making in the UFC. How do you guys get the money that you believe you deserve? Because there's a big piece of the pie out there. And trying to start, no, you know, trying to get you in trouble with your boss. No, but no, there's it's... there's a big piece of the pie out there, and I know you want a bigger slice of it. Absolutely. I don't care what it is. You give me 100 million today, that's fine. I'll fight for 100 million, but the next fight. I'll try to get 250. I'm, I'm going to need 250. <laughs> you know, so I understand that as an athlete, as a man, it, it right. doesn't matter what it is. That's who, as a competitor, I'm always going to want more. Absolutely. Right. Um, could we have bigger slice of the pie? Absolutely. Right. You could argue that with any and everybody in every sport, 100%. Now there's there's things that of course Francis and and his coach and the camp that they need to you know work out with the UFC. That's absolutely everybody knows that. Right. I mean the situation the way it got, it doesn't yeah, it look. Got good. A, yeah, it didn't, it, yeah, it didn't have to. It get didn't like have that. to get like that. Absolutely. You know there's things that they need to sit down and they need to talk about 100. percent right. You know Francis Gano, that's my brother. I I believe Francis is always going to be worth more than he's getting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If he can go to boxing tomorrow and they pay him 50 million, I think he's worth more than that. Right. You know, so that's something that they need to sit down with the company because I, you know, there's pl plenty and plenty of athletes that were unhappy that were eventually sat down and, and something was done. You know, that, that's business. Right. No one side is always going to get more than that. You know, you, you're going to come to a compromise. Right. And I think they need to come to a compromise. You know, can he get more? Absolutely. Right. Should we get more? Um, absolutely. Should football players get more? Absolutely. Yes. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.